Okay guys, so this is our fifth lesson here, getting into movements. We're only gonna have one movement for you today. It's called a tripod. This is a super uh, useful movement for a ton of escapes, just like your shrimp. And you know what, it, essentially it is a shrimp, just a little bit extra. So again, feet are wider apart, shoulders apart, heels are in. I bridge my shrimp, right? So we've got that one before, right? Again, that idea of it, we have to be on our side, not flat on our back. Well, just like we're doing that reverse switch out, we're going to add that in. So before we're going reverse switch out, we're going up onto our elbow and kicking back, which is good. But if we're pinned and we can't sit up on our elbow, we have to do it on our shoulder. So I bridge, I shrimp, and now that bottom leg goes back. So now I'm into that turtle position. Bridge. And slide back. Now you should ideally be going about 90 degree adjustment. My feet are facing this wall to start, they face this wall to end. So I bridge up, bottom leg, not this. So you get people that step over, and it's not wrong, it's just different. That's called the step over. So you want to make sure we're practicing the tripod. Bridge, shrimp, and out your knees. Sometimes it may be bridge and go onto your belly, and that is fine too. Ideally, we want to be to our knees, but if we get onto our belly, that's fine, and you're going to see that happens a fair amount when you're rolling with someone on top of you. Okay, practice this one, tripod. Okay, guys, so for our standing uh, self-defense lesson, we're going to carry on with the last one that we did, where we're nice and close, and John grabs my shoulders, I face away, and hands are up, he pulls, I come in. Now, I still have my submission here from before, right? And I put a little bit of pressure, and I turn it in, but my base is low, not up, right? Now, John might feel something's wrong. As I'm doing this, he'll straighten his arm out. So when his arm straightens out, I have to make sure that I'm on this side of his elbow, so it's gonna take a little adjustment. If he bends his arm again, remember that hand's on his elbow. When he straightens it, I wanna be on this side of his elbow by his shoulder. I can turn from here, turn my hand over, leg goes in front, and I turn my hip. I'm gonna turn my shoulder, this way, as I bring my leg back. And this is going to actually arm bar John. Um, he may be able to limp arm his arm out, but this is a nice one, but it's very, very tight, so be careful. So from here, the guy has his grip, I base back, I step in, hope he starts to straighten his arm out, right here. This one is very, very tight. In fact, John's elbow clicked a little bit. And if that does happen, uh, don't be too concerned, as long as there's no pain associated with it. Little clicks, little pops, just like when you crack your fingers, nothing too bad. Um, if it hurts, that's a problem. Okay, so you want to go nice and easy and take control. Take control. If I base back, I go in. John may push on my shoulder. Now, if he keeps pushing, he's going to pull his arm out. Okay, well now I don't have anything before. But look at cross side. This is like what we had before. Now we can do the same move we were doing before off the cross side push. So I'm in nice and close, John grabs, I step back, he pulls, I'm in, he goes to push, I grab as I step back, and go right into my arm bar that we did previously. So it's great, now we're starting to mix some of the self-defense moves together, get little combinations. Off the other side, John grabs, I base, I step in, he pushes, right into the arm bar. Okay, so nice and easy. Of course, with all the self-defense moves, we want to be able to practice off both sides. Um, be mindful for your partner to make sure they know what you're going to do too. Because once you start putting combinations together, sometimes people get confused. So one more time, nice and easy. Go off this side. John grabs. I base. Hands are up. He pulls. I go in. There's one. If he strings his arm out, there's two. If he tries to strip his arm out, I step back and go into my arm bar. So we can put little chains together. Okay? If you guys can get the hang of everything that was in this little course, you are going to be having no problems on the mat. This is a great little starting tool for you guys. Have fun. Okay, so for our fifth lesson, this is our final one of the little uh, series here. We're going to get a little bit more sport applicable. How to pass John's guard and use some of the skills that we've seen before to uh, get a submission on it. So John's on his back, and this is going to be an open guard. So his feet are up facing him. You saw this a little bit before. He's going to want to be keeping range with this. So I don't want to keep my legs straight. What? That was actually a real thing. That wasn't just fake. 
with my legs straight, it puts a lot of pressure on my knee. The second, and John didn't put a lot, it's just a little bit of a touch, but my heel was on the floor, my leg is straight, so when there's a little pressure you had, lock my leg out immediately. So this is super important, as you can see, I can't just walk in with my leg straight and my head up. I need to bend my knee. Now this looks a little bit like a typical karate style of a stance, and this is important, we want that. So I bring my knee in until I feel some tension. So if John relaxes his leg right now, and I get all the way to here, that's great. I'm gonna try to get all the way to there, but I have to do a different move, because the position is slightly changed. So from here, I'm gonna bring my leg up. I slide my foot across, his leg to kick him out of the way. So I'll do that part again. I walk in, my back is straight, I have that tension, lift my leg up, kick it across, and I step in. Now, if I'm gonna step, I just wanna block his hips so he's a little bit on his side. Okay? If he tries to roll, then I do a different move. You're gonna keep him here, like I'm gonna land on him, and it's natural for this hand to pop up. When the hand comes up, I'm gonna slide back to our arm bar. Now, it's a little bit different than before. You can see my foot here, He's going to wrap his shoulder. Whereas before we did this arm bar, this way. Neither one is better than the other as long as you're doing it properly. So having this leg in can be a little bit faster, but the controls a little bit less. The other one, the controls better, but it's a little bit slower sometimes. So as long as you get heels in, toes, knees together, and you're pulled towards this pinky, you're going to be fine with the arm bar. So again, here I got that tension kick the side, foot, jump in. Now, if I can grab his leg, that's going to help because John's going to try and run away from me. We'll get back here. So I'm just going to hold on to his leg so he can't run away and watching that he doesn't hook my head. So I just want to keep that knee in tight and arm in tight. Okay, keep that hand up so he's not going to kick you. So you saw that last one I jumped it a little bit. So once I get this part, once I see his arm, I'm going to kick his armpit with my instep, right here. And I'm gonna put my hand on his knee. And I just sit on John. You can see my hip is on his hip. Foot goes around, and I sit down. This is fine, but if he's wearing shorts, obviously that won't work. You'll have to switch your grip. But one more time, normal speed. I walk in, I have that tension. Right into the arm bone. Uh, if you get a little rotation like that last one, that's fine. You're just, just going to adjust for the momentum the, that you have. Okay? This one is a lot of fun. Enjoy it.